Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today I'm going to be making a pair of regular size, so medium size, dog booties. And we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a pair of medium size dog booties. So this will fit, say, a large Shih Tzu, a, a Border Collie, a Bulldog, a Scotty Dog, like that size dog. I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using Lion Brand Pound of Love Light Blue Yarn. It's a four, four ply medium weight or worsted weight and mine's acrylic. And then I have this other blue because I'm gonna do the top of the booty blue, darker blue. Um, and this is a, a Red Heart Brand yarn. I just don't have the label anymore. Okay, so let's start with the light blue. We are gonna start by crossing our yarn and then we're gonna chain two. One, two. Now, if you want a really thick pad on these, you can go up a crochet hook size and use both colors to do the pad. This is the pad of the, the booty that I'm starting with. So we chain two. We're gonna go in that first chain and we're gonna wrap our tail around our hook and we're gonna single crochet six. So there's one, two, all in that same stitch, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. We're gonna chain up one. And if we did our tail right here, when we pull on it, that little center hole will cinch right up. Now we're gonna put two stitch, two single crochets in every stitch around. Okay, so you do that and meet me back. I decided I could show you how to do it anyway. So two single crochets in each stitch. So to do a single crochet, you go in the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through your two loops. So you go in the same stitch, pull through, yarn over, through two loops. So we're doing two all the way around. We had six, so this will make it to 12. So I'm at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, ten, eleven, twelve, oops, twelve. We're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. My yarn is cut. There we go. Okay. So for the next round, <clears throat> we're going to chain up one and we're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch. One, two. And we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch. So this is, I'm counting in multiples of three. We're going to end up with 18. So if I'm at three, I'm gonna put four and five in the next stitch. And then six on its own. Seven and eight in the next stitch. Nine on its own. 10 and 11 in the next stitch. 
12 on its own. 13, 14 in this stitch. 15 on its own. 16, 17 in that stitch, 18 on its own. Then we're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. Now we're gonna chain up two because we're switching to half double crochets. Okay, so to make the pad, we did single crochets to make a nice tight weave. And like I said, if you wanted to go with a thicker pad, like say your dog is gonna be walking on snow or something like that, <clears throat> Um, or on rough terrain and you're using this to protect their feet. Usually the dog booties I make are to protect the dog's feet from when I go off trail and there's like sticky burrs or there's sap, those sap things that get in between on their fur and stuff that helps protect them. Um, I've never tried them on snow. I think that snow would probably attach to them a lot like it would to mittens but i mean we wear mittens too right so okay so for this we're gonna do six rounds <coughs> pardon me six rounds of ha half double crochet <coughs> one moment please sorry about that i got a tickle in my throat okay to do a half double crochet you're putting yarn over you're going into the stitch pull through Yarn over, go through all three stitches. That's a half double crochet, okay? So we want to have 18 stitches around. Now I'm gonna teach you a little trick I do. I find that when I'm working in the round with crochet, that my join seam, if I'm always joining into the chain, will start to go diagonally. It won't say straight. So what I want you to do is for your first round of the half double crochet, I want you to go into the chain. For your next row, I want you to go into the stitch. Now it's important that you always have 18 stitches, not counting the chain two, okay? So it's important that you always keep 18 stitches, but this will prevent your stitches from going sideways and wonky. <coughs> so, let's see. I'm here. I'm just gonna double check, so I'm not counting the chain. So this would be the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, perfect. So in the first round, I'm gonna go in the chain. And do my slip stitch, chain up two. In the next round, I'm going in the stitch. Now, if you don't have a problem with your stitches kind of going wonky, then do whatever works for you. This is just what I have always found working in the round. And I work in the round to make my dog sweaters, cat sweaters, <clears throat> all sorts of different things. Chair socks, dog booties, I do all of that crocheting in the round. And this has been my solution. So I want you to do six rows, alternating chain stitch, chain stitch for your join. And meet me back. Okay, so I've done my six rounds and I'm just going to join my last round. So let's see, I did chain stitch, chain stitch, chain stitch. So I'm gonna go into that stitch and do my slip stitch. And you know what? We're gonna leave a bit of a tail and we're gonna cut our yarn and pull the yarn through. So now what we're going to do is taking our contrasting color, I'm going to go right to where I did my slip stitch and I'm going to join my yarn. Now I know a lot of people do the slip knot to join the yarn. 
I don't. I hold it down with my finger at the back and pull it through. And then I just do my chains. So that's one, we need to chain up three, okay? So we're chaining up three to count as a double crochet. Then we're gonna chain a fourth one. We're gonna skip a stitch. And now we're gonna do a double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then we're gonna chain one, skip one, and then we're gonna do a double crochet. This is making our spacing for our tie. Okay, so chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. We're doing this all the way around. Oh, sorry, my cat has decided to play with my other belly yarn. Okay, so chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet. All the way around. <laughs> he's being a little monkey. Now he's playing with the, the legs of my TV table. So funny. Okay, chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're back. So we're just chained one and we're skipping. Oh, goodness, sorry. So we chained one and we're skipping this one. And now we're gonna count up. Remember we did our chain four? but one of them was for the skip one. So in the third, so one, two, three, in that third chain, we're gonna slip stitch. Okay. Then we're gonna chain up two. That does not count as a stitch. Our chains for me do not count as a stitch. We are gonna do a half double crochet in that space. We're gonna do a half double crochet in the double crochet. And we're gonna do a half double crochet in the space, half double crochet. And this is just to make our foundation real again of half double crochets. Counting this row of half double crochets, we're gonna do three rows of half double crochets. So this counts as row one. Do that and meet me back. I've done my three rows. I'm gonna slip stitch into that chain two. I'm gonna make a long tail enough for sewing. And I'm gonna make my knot, okay? So that is your dog booty. And see where we went up? You can hardly tell that there's much of a difference, right? And it's nice and straight, it's not. Mine would always go sideways. I don't know what's up with that. So now we're gonna make the ties for these booties. Whoops, I have to find the end of my yarn. For these booties, I'm gonna keep the same size hook and I'm just gonna chain 70, seven zero, 70, with both strands, okay? And you do that for each booty. Um, if you want longer laces, then do a longer chain, it's up to you. I'm gonna do 70, like I said. Um, and if you wanna do it both strands the same color or if you want just one strand whatever these are your booties make them however you want i'm just giving you the basics you can do you can use your imagination from here and you guys are all so amazing you know that i i really look forward to seeing the projects that that my my viewers make um i do have a Facebook crochet group is called the Joy of Crochet. Um, I'll put a link in the description. You can go 
and check it out and show me what you've made. I would love that. I haven't got a very big group yet. I've got about 10 people. But, uh, you know, you got to start somewhere. I would love to see the creations and the creations on your darling puppies. Also, this is a great pattern to use like an like, uh, item for craft sales. Because you know what? People always want to spoil their pets. Always, 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 always. I stopped counting, you guys. I'm going to have to go back and count my chain. <laughs> I got talking. Um, so, yeah. The other thing is um, there will be a pattern for this coming soon. Again, check the description. I'm slowly getting all of my patterns written out, and they're available in my Etsy store. There'll be a link for my Etsy store in the description and a link to my Pinterest board so you can see other dog i have quite the group of people that make dog and cat sweaters and things like that um on my board so you can see other people's creations not just mine so i'll have a link for my pinterest boards in the description as well so <laughs> i think i may have gone more than 70 but do a chain of 70 weave it through weave in your ends and make four of them that's all there is to it thanks so much for watching have a great day don't forget to hit the like and subscribe bye now